here is an example of a patient where the uh, referring clinician felt a little bump, a little nodule on the thyroid gland. And there it is. There's the little nodule. And here's an example where we see that nodule. And we use ultrasound to place a needle under ultrasound guidance into that nodule. We then take the specimen right at that very moment, hand it to a pathologist, and the pathologist looks at it and says, this is cancer or this is not cancer. And if we don't get an adequate specimen, we'll take another little sample. But you can see how ultrasound is, is really providing a tremendous utility in allowing us to put that needle right into uh, that nodule. Here's a patient that has a scan of the liver. This patient had abnormal liver function tests. The doctor was concerned about there being an abnormality in the liver, and sure enough, if we look inside the liver, we see a mass inside the liver. And again, we'll use ultrasound, just like we did in the thyroid, to place a needle using ultrasound guidance into this mass to be able to sample it to detect whether or not there is a tumor or whether it's some other abnormality of the liver. Lastly, just let me tell you that one of the very frequent aspects of ultrasound that's asked for, particularly in the emergency room, are patients that have leg pain uh, and were concerned about a clot in their legs, which is referred to in medical parlance as a deep venous thrombosis. And here's an example of a patient that has an ultrasound evaluation of their lower extremity. This is the artery, and we're pressing down, and you can see that vein compresses quite nicely. No evidence of clot within that vein at all. And here's an example of a patient that has a big clot in that vein. This is the artery, and there's the vein. Instead of it squishing down to nothing, it stays the same as it was telling us that there's clot within that vessel.